folks, it's the Red getting back to the Crash Bandicoot 2 No Damage Run. It's time to move on to level 2, Snow Girl. And right away we're going to notice a theme with the stages in Crash 2. Half of them are covered in snow. I'm not sure why this is. I mean, it's a thick layer of snow too, it's almost like an ice glacier around here. My guess is that it must be winter time in Australia or something. Be mindful of those penguins as well, they spin about as fast as Crash does. Also, we have ice, complete with ice skating physics. So be mindful of this when you move around, especially when you're moving around near TNT. Never slide around TNT, folks, it's very dangerous. Not so dangerous? Sliding around like a maniac on ice! In fact, this is super fun! Definitely do this at home! Whee! I just find it so much fun sliding around on the ice like this because of how fast he goes. I imagine a speedrunner could probably do a sliding jump off of the ice there, and then bounce off these seals to maintain the momentum. Sadly, I'm not that awesome. I would rather just bounce on seals for extra wampa fruit. Oh yeah! Come on, let's get some more. Hup, hup, hup. Okay, I really shouldn't be doing things like that in a no damage run. I should be removing as much risk from this game as possible. Let's go to a 2D section. Once again, I'm glad I can use the D-pad for things like this, because again, I don't want to use a control stick in a 2D section. Anyway, excuse me, buddy. Hmm, that's weird. Aku Aku doesn't seem to cast a reflection. Well, he is a witch doctor. Be mindful of those smashers, just don't stand under them and you'll be fine. Some of them will be on timers though, so watch out for those. And the game likes to tease us by putting this red gem right up here, just out of our reach. You can collect it early, however, if you do some sort of sliding jump, follow it up with a belly flop, and then you can make Crash's hitbox hit the gem. But we're not going to be doing that, we're going to get it the right way, it's easier anyway. But yeah, that's there. We'll be getting it later. And jump down here for a bonus room. Whee! Oh. And there goes all my bones. <laughs> you have to be careful on the ice here because it can slide you right off if you're not paying attention. Well, that being said, slide jump! What can I say? I always want to do a slide jump on the ice. It's fun. <laughs> Whoosh! I probably forgot to make a note of this in the previous video, but collecting gems has been made a good bit easier in this game as well. In the previous game, you had to get through the stage in one life while breaking all the boxes in the stage. Now, you only need to break the boxes. You can die as well. It will remember all the boxes that you had broken leading up to this point. Which makes things so much better, let me tell you. Another Aku Aku here. Don't run too far ahead or you might miss this uh, green explanation box. Alright. Almost spun right into that. And here is our next well-hidden crystal. Then again, it was behind the crates, so I guess it was somewhat well-hidden? No, not really. And again, these boxes take too darn long to break. I could probably just spin it, but part of me wants the Wampa Fruit for some reason. I don't know. Give me that crystal. Watch out for the penguins. And a quick bounce on here. Now we need to get on top of this bounce crate over here. And it hits an explanation box directly above it. 
which we can then use to fill in these blocks here. Very good. Okay, almost home. Woo! Almost walked right into it. Crazy seals. Alright, I'm not gonna break these. I'm not gonna bounce on these ones. Okay, we get our gem. And that's the end of the stage. And we are coming out of Snowgo with the crystal. And the gem. And the crash dance. And so we are done with Snowgo for now. We'll have to come back at a later time to collect that red gem. Anyway, that's it for this video. Next time, we're moving on to Hang 8. See you then! One thing I do like to do with seals, though, is get hit by them. Ugh. I imagine a speedrunner could probably do, like, a slide off of this ice and then bounce off these seals to... Ugh. A professional speedrunner wouldn't do things like that, either. Uh, I had that coming. TNT can be a dangerous thing to slide into. Case in point. <laughs>